So when we use this approach on high SES children's input, that is learning the building blocks for WH dependency is using those syntactic trigrams from the kind of input that we think high SES children are exposed to, and this comes from prior work by Pearl and Sprouse 2013, uh, they get the same judgment pattern, right? They seem to have, if we give the model input that have the same composition, right, the same distribution of WH dependencies as the data that high SES children get, lo and behold, for each of our four island types, we see that super additive pattern, right, where the island crossing dependency is extra bad, right? So super additivity is present for all four islands that we looked at here. And so we can interpret this as the high SES child input supporting the acquisition of this knowledge about syntactic islands using this learning strategy that depends on a certain part of the input. And this uh, result here that we found for complex MP island crossing dependencies, this is in line with you know, the one sort of data point we have from four-year-olds who are high SES who in fact just prefer complex NP island crossing dependency. They don't like it, and that would be exactly what would be predicted here. So this is in line with the sort of the limited child data that we have already to validate it, which suggests that, hey, this learning strategy is doing something right. This is a reasonable way, uh, one might say, to therefore assess the quality of the input. And so, again, that input part that we're looking at is the WH dependencies, because this is about uh, WH dependencies and their building blocks, the syntactic trigrams outlined by the learning strategy.